Violent crime in Jacksonville is declining. That's according to a community survey from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Data also shows people believe the agency is being more transparent and engaged. Our Christina Burgess is joining us here in the studio. And Christina, I know you spoke with an organization. They spoke with the sheriff about all of this and the whole survey. Yes, Anthony, that's correct. I spoke with the group I care along with residents who tell me they have noticed less violent crime in their neighborhood. They've noticed JSO has also gotten better communicating with citizens. That we wanted the violence to stop and we are seeing a great reduction. For 60 years, Geneva Pittman's called Jacksonville home. Just six months ago, First Coast News spoke with Pittman, who was calling for more to be done. We are tired of the violence. It must stop. Today, she says she's noticed a decline. We are seeing a drop in the violence that's taking place in Jacksonville. Pittman is also a member of ICARE, known as the Interfaith Coalition for Action, Reconciliation and Empowerment. The organization invited Sheriff T.K. Waters to their April Action Assembly earlier this year, but he declined. However, ICARE co-president Keith Oglesby says the group did meet with the sheriff on May 8th. We felt much better in the connection with the sheriff and with his office. Both Pittman and Oglesby say they believe Sheriff Waters and JSO have become more transparent and engaged. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office conducted a community survey. Of the 600 people surveyed, 68% of people said they feel JSO handles their job well, while 21% disagreed. Nearly 56% said JSO has gotten better at accountability, while 15% disagreed. 56% of people believe their transparency has gotten better, and nearly 54% said JSO has done better with community engagement. We're really gratified to hear the numbers are better. And the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office community survey also shows that 89% of people feel safe in their neighborhood, and 68% believe Jacksonville is a safe place to live. Christina Burgess, First Coast News, on your side.